Okay, it's Nick Dutch, back again, one more time, very, very quickly, talking about my rice popping experiment. Uh, I've had a thought, and I would try and pop the rice straight over the gas flame in a metal sieve. So I put just a small handful, a, a very small handful, of just uncooked regular rice over, over the flame and did that with a metal sieve. And um, the rice started looking a bit like popped rice. So it started to look like popped rice without the grease. Okay, without the oil. So maybe I'm onto something. So I've cooked some more rice, I'm drying it now, and I'm hoping that you know, after two nights, when it's all done, okay, when it's all dried out and is back to its original size, then I will be able to try the same thing. What I've done with the sieve is I have torched it with the gas, basically to burn off any paint or any other chemicals that might be on the, on the metal of the sieve. So it should be nice and clean and pure-ish. Okay, as best as I can get it. And then we'll just have a quick look and see basically in two days time as to whether I can actually get like air popped, or in this case gas flame popped rice. And to see whether I can then use that as real breakfast cereal, you know, snack, snap, crackle and pop type stuff. Um, made at home at very low expense. So I can then start, you know, manufacturing my own um, basically popped rice breakfast cereal for my own personal use out of cooked dried rice that has been in small quantities put into a metal sieve and put over the flame like that until it's just just popped enough and then tip it out and then do the next slot and so on and so forth that might actually work so i'm going to give that a go and we'll just have to see basically what happens